Chat wants to know who will step up and fight Regis. Their bet is on Sergey Lipinitz. My bet is Sandor Martin. I think he's the highest rated fighter in the rankings. And I think because he's having trouble getting these fights, I don't think Sandor will turn down the fight because it's an opportunity. And I think Regis is just going to go th the way of just getting whoever he can get in the ring. Yeah, Sa Sandor seems like the uh, logical choice because then, you know, depending on how he looks against him, then you could use that as a reference, right? Like if he, if he gets booked up with Telfimo, they could say, oh, you know, Telfimo had 12 rounds and did this. Regis, you know, potentially went four or five rounds and did this. Or if he goes 12 and doesn't look as good. Um, so they, they'll they have that in common to try to build something up. Um, it's funny because Telf speaking of Telfimo, you know, uh, he said, yeah, that the money didn't matter. It was, you know, the uh, getting a chance at the at the title and this and that. But his father recently was talking a different tune uh, about the 35 percent and all this and all that. So I don't know. It seems like a, a difference of opinion there, which leads me to believe that that fight won't happen. And we get the Sandor Martin. I mean, which uh, it's a shame, Sandor, like most people would look at his last his record and say, oh, he lost. But that's an interesting style to see Regis in with, because Regis is. One of the things I've noticed is his feet don't always work the way that you might expect that they'd work. He's a rhythm fighter. He's a destructive puncher. But at times, guys have had success moving around him. I saw Zapata at times having success. So I think that that's actually an interesting fight. It really just depends on the storylines that they bring out um, to get people's interest into the fight. Now, do you think, I'll ask you this, um, do you think that that fight looks more like Regis against Josh Taylor because of Josh Taylor's style, almost similar to Sandor Martin? Uh, maybe. I mean, I see where you're going from. I think it's going to look like Zapata, um, Regis, but with more movement. Um, I think that when the fight gets close in physical, Sandor's kind of tipped his hand that he knows it's going to be a hard fight because if you listen to his post fight, he's like, Oh, I won. He's like, I would fight Regis, but that's a lot harder fight. And it's like, whenever he, that's like when you said Loma said that Devin Haney's a heavyweight, you never really want to hear that stuff. And I think that my friend Dakota always talks about a bubble fighters fight with a bubble. If Regis is able to burst the bubble around Sandor Martin, I don't think Sandor Martin is able to do the in fighting Regis will force him to do. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess we'll have to see, and who knows? May, you know, if maybe we get a surprise and Josh Taylor doesn't fight Catterall after all, because it seems like that fight keeps getting postponed and postponed, and who knows? Maybe maybe Catterall steps up and fights Regis or or one of them. So I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out because kind of everybody's kind of in limbo. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to continue to see videos like this one. Go to OnlyFans.com slash ITR Boxing. We have a ton of content there, and it's really, really easy to see weekly, never-before-seen videos, some editorials in video form. We have a ton of content that's exclusively over there, and two times a month, we're bringing you full-length documentaries or quarter-length, about 15 to 20-minute documentaries for our OnlyFans. So really go check it out and see what all the buzz is about.